Okay, checking in on bond markets now. We've got Simon Michelle from Fig Securities joining us live. And of course, Simon, we should start with those US labor market numbers out on Friday. They seem to tick the final box for an increase uh, in the Fed funds rate next week. Yes, good afternoon. Uh, the market was very much uh, keen to see how this uh, last job report came out in the US. Uh, whether it would continue to build on uh, positive sentiment we've seen in the labour market there, uh, which it did. Uh, so it really has, uh, you know, ticked that final box and uh, the market very much uh, looking to hear from the Fed that they will lift the Fed funds rate uh, from virtual zero, uh, likely to occur uh, after their meeting next Tuesday, Wednesday. Which of course brings us to the pace of the increases. This is what we're all talking about now. And I'm guessing this is what everyone will be listening out for when Janet Yellen uh, speaks to, to the press as well. A exactly any indication of how slowly and how steady we can expect uh, the, the Fed fund rate to be lifted. We know that she's not gonna follow any kind of process where we see 25 every three months or something like that. Data dependent, she says, is that right? Very much so, very much so. And I think, you know, this is a great opportunity for the Fed to reset their messaging. Um, you know, they, uh, they missed uh, the September liftoff that caused a little bit of uh, volatility in the market. So I think now that the market's sort of uh, built in uh, that increase in December, it's all about, you know, where to next. And uh, I think uh, what you'll hear from the Fed is that, you know, they've now reset that uh, Fed funds rate off of the virtual zero level. Uh, but, you know, markets should not be looking for a flurry of further increases. Uh, they're likely to be very slow, very moderate. It could be that the Fed actually indicates that uh, you know don't expect any further move for them uh, for 2016 uh, you know they'll uh, certainly be looking to see a global reaction looking to see how the other central banks react as well uh, that's also reflected on the yield curve at the moment so while we are positioning for higher rates uh, or higher cash rate in the near term we're actually seeing the longer end of the yield curve uh, longer dated interest rates actually move a little bit lower and that reflects an environment where you've got lower inflation expectations you've still got uh, a number of commodity prices hitting new lows uh, so the market while uh, preparing for that increase is not preparing for uh, a, a flurry of interest rate increases on the back of it I wonder wh what impact a commodity prices having at the moment on longer term rates we saw iron ore fall into the 30s uh, for example uh, oil still under pressure at the moment look they certainly do play into that lower inflation forecasting and uh, you know as those prices have lowered as we've also seen intervention by China as well and uh, devaluation of the yarn that certainly had an impact on uh, those countries that import those goods um, obviously a lot of our export markets that are buying our iron ore for example um, you know as those uh, prices fall that is uh, built into uh, what would then be a much lower inflation expectation and that builds into lower uh, rates on the horizon so it is uh, very much driving those lower yields we're seeing especially out in the 10 year and beyond part of the curve and let's just finish off with a preview of the Aussie unemployment numbers which are due out on Thursday of course do you think we'll stick to that 5.9 percent which was a bit of a shock for us I must say look it was and uh, I think uh, you know it's uh, all about the use at the moment so let's not forget we do have a bit of info uh, coming out for Australia and uh, obviously uh, our uh, um, employment market has been a big focus, um, you know, still very much uh, a high level of underemployment and uh, very low wages growth. Uh, look, I think uh, the market's certainly looking for some improvement or some jobs growth. Uh, it'll be really about the participation rate, whether we get an increase there, uh, but market pretty much on point for a steady uh, same in, uh, unemployment rate as last month of 5.9. All right, Simon, Michelle, thank you so much for joining us. Have a good afternoon. Thank you. You too.